Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Andy Sterkwitz, I'm a self-taught programmer, and in this video, what I'm actually gonna to talk to you about is how can you learn to code with life responsibilities, right? Like how can you learn to code with a family, maybe with a stressful job, maybe you have financial stress, maybe you're taking care of someone, maybe you have health problems. Like, is it really possible to do this with all of those responsibilities? Because learning to code for most people is pretty darn difficult, you'll find. <laughs> Some people are have a very natural predilection to this, so it's easy for them, but for the average person I've found, it takes a lot of commitment, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of effort. And it's like, you'll hear a lot of people say, hey, you know, if I was single, I could definitely do this. But you know, with a family, you just can't do it. Or with this situation, you just can't do it. But the truth is that I know personally people from people who I've mentored, from other people out there who've made this career change, you can do it with a family. You can do it with a wide range of responsibilities. I've heard people doing it with jobs where they're working 60, 70 hours a week, and they're still managing to figure out how to get the time to learn to code and make this a reality. And so that's what I really wanted to talk about today. So I'm really shooting for all you people out there who think that like you just can't do this because you're some special snowflake who has special responsibilities that no one understands. The truth is that a lot of people out there have more responsibilities than you or at least some similar level and they're still managing to figure out. So I want to share with you what I've seen that really makes a difference. Now, if you're new here and you're wondering who I am, I'm Andy Sterkwitz, like I said, I'm a self-taught programmer and I actually mentor and coach people as well. So I help people really make this shift into this career. So that's what this channel is all about. So I highly recommend hitting the subscribe button below. Also make sure to hit the bell icon so you get notifications anytime I put out a new video. Now, what is it? What is it that really separates the people who are able to make this happen despite all the obstacles in their life, despite all the responsibilities they have, and the people who kind of sit on their couch and just go, yeah, it's easy for you to say, I've tried it, and it's just, you can't do it with the family, man, you can't do it with whatever. I don't know where that voice came from, but you know, you don't know what I'm saying, like, what is it that I've seen? So the people who I've seen who really make this leap and the people who don't, the people who do really have created a system for themselves. I'm talking about a system of planning and scheduling, a system for studying, and a system for accountability. When you have that in place, when you have a system or a process that you follow, it creates a much stronger routine, much stronger habits that bypass all of the willpower problems that you'll have. So let me just quickly explain here by kind of describing a story that I see time and time again from people who are really struggling with this. So when people first learn to code or first learn that they can learn to code, right? So maybe they watch a tutorial, they're reading a book or whatever. The most common thing I see that's a problem is that they sort of haphazardly have a process or a system in place. So they read a book when they come home from work or they watch a tutorial, maybe they start to put together a project and they sort of just try to find time throughout their day and they use a lot of willpower, right? They come home from work, they're stressed out, their family's yelling at them and they're like, Oh, I'm gonna, hopefully tonight, I'm gonna get that one hour studying and I'm gonna like try to, you know, like, like clench my eyebrows or something and like watch a motivational video on YouTube and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. And they're relying on their willpower to actually study that evening or study for that day. And if they're at the very beginning, usually they have a lot of willpower, they're very motivated, but they find that over time, that motivation, that willpower, it dries up. It's very limited in quantity. And so you'll see a lot of people, they get like these waves where they start coding and they fall off, they start coding and they fall off. And that's really a sign to me that they don't have a system or a process in place that bypasses willpower. So if, you're, if you find yourself in this position, here's what I'm seeing that works really well for people. And, for, and this is what I really do with people who I mentor as well. You really want to create a system for yourself. So this is not this is not your goals. This is not your roadmap. You need to have goals about what you're trying to do, like where you're headed, what direction you're going in. But once you have your goals in place, what you need to create for yourself is a process. And that starts with scheduling. So what you should really focus on with your schedule is focusing on rules about when you're going to study. So you should pick certain days during the week and certain times that you're going to study no matter what. And you're going to block out those times. And I think a really good one, if you have a job, by the way, and you come home, the first thing you should do is get in at least a half hour of studying, maybe an hour of studying, depending on what your specific situation is. If you have family, let them know. Say, when I come home from work, the first hour, it's dedicated to studying. Um, maybe you can do this before you wake up and go to work, by the way. On the weekends, if you have time or your days off, you should set a set schedule about when you're gonna study. Maybe it's when you first wake up and you, you're showered and you're ready to go. Maybe it's before you go to bed. And those rules should not be broken no matter what. That should be like a commitment you make to yourself that's unbreakable, right? Because what I've seen here, again, this is like the most important part, 
is that when you have that schedule in place, when you really commit yourself to making sure you're never missing a study time, is all of a sudden what happens is this becomes a routine and a habit that you are drawn to, right? And all of a sudden you look forward to studying every day because that's your time away from all of your problems. That's a time for you to really sort of soak up and enjoy the moment. And that's what really happens. It, it takes time for that to happen. And you'll see this a lot with people who are like quote unquote gym rats. I'm sure you guys all have friends who like they never miss a day in the gym. And you're like, what is this phenomenon here? Like how do they go to the gym? Like I, some people struggle to go to the gym and other people are like insane. They never miss a day. Like what is going on there? Well, I can tell you from times when I've been like that or, when I, or from my friends who've been like that, they've literally been going to the gym for years and they have certain days and times that they go to the gym. And they've created like this, these neural connections in their brain that literally make them feel like excited and happy just to think about the gym. And so going to the gym for them is a pleasurable experience. Even if the experience is stressful or like stressful in their body, they still look forward to it because they've created a really hard routine or they created a really strong routine and habit that makes it pleasurable. Like that is what you want to accomplish with coding is you don't want to rely on motivation, pumping yourself up. What you want to do is create such strong momentum with your habits that you're following certain scheduled times when you're going to code and study. And this also applies to how you study, by the way, you should have a good process for how you study. So are there distractions, right? That's a big one. Like a lot of people actually study with distractions. So they uh, study in front of other people who are going to interrupt them or they allow themselves to watch YouTube or like a podcast or just something that doesn't allow for their 100% full attention. They also have to know a good a ratio of active to passive learning. That's something I've covered before. You have to make sure you're not doing too much of passive learning, right? Just watching tutorials. You also have to work uh, get your hands dirty and go in and work on projects and you have to have a good ratio there and stick to that you should also have limits about how much you study if you have a lot of time to study you shouldn't study too much you shouldn't study uh, you also should study enough you should get at least i'd say 15 to 20 hours per week is ideal so you should have rules about that now the last thing that's really important and this is something that if you overlook the rest of it won't matter and this is something that i've seen people do that they, when they do it right it matters it makes a big difference and that is having for and a system for accountability Accountability is really important to keep you on track when you are tempted to fall off. And so you have to have some sort of system of accountability. It could be as simple as like journaling every single day about what your goals are and reflecting on what you did well the day before or what you could improve on. This could also be having a friend who you check in with, who you tell about how things are going. It could be having a mentor. It could also just be investing in yourself, investing in you know, courses or professional instruction, that can also be an accountability system because when you have skin in the game, you're much more likely to follow through. So whatever you decide as an accountability system, even if it's something as small as, again, journaling every single day, that's the type of thing that I've seen really makes a difference because when times get tough, and by the way, times will get tough, I don't care who you are, there will be a point where you struggle a lot, you need to be able to overcome that with the accountability factor, with having that friend who goes, hey, you know, everything's gonna be okay, or just seeing that long list of journal entries and seeing like, you know, I've gone through tough times before, I'm gonna get through it. So really take this to heart. For those of you guys who have struggled with this, for those of you guys who you've had those ups and downs where you always rely on motivation, make this or, or create a process, create a system for yourself of studying, create a system of accountability, create a system for scheduling and stick to it no matter what. And if you do this over a long enough period of time, you will find that this becomes a very pleasurable activity, that your progress is easier and that you're not relying on that willpower and that motivation that most of us we can't sustain for a very long time. So I hope this video has been very helpful. Please leave a comment and let me know if this video has helped, if you understand it, if there's any points of clarification. Um, other than that, also leave a like as well as the YouTube algorithm loves that. Um, but other than that, guys, if you are trying to get in this field, if you are 100% committed and serious about becoming a programmer and you wanna work with me one-on-one -on -one to do that, I highly recommend booking a career strategy session. 
During that career strategy session, what I'm actually gonna do with you is I really wanna see if the program is even a good fit. And so I'm gonna ask you questions about what your goals are. I'm gonna ask you questions about what you're struggling with, what you've tried to do in the past that hasn't been working. And I can really see if, if we're actually a good fit to work together. From there, I'll actually lay out what your program specifically will look like and we can take it from there. So I highly recommend booking a call. I will leave a link in the description below. By the way, times, uh, or I should say time slots go very, very quickly. So I would really recommend jumping on this as quickly as possible. Um, other than that, thank you so much for watching. And as always guys, peace out.